Three Phases of Application Security In this video, we are going to discuss the three phases of application security, reconnaissance, exploitation, and prevention. As a developer, it is important that you understand these phases in order to create secure applications. By understanding these phases, you will be able to design your applications in a way that makes them less susceptible to attack. This video is designed for developers who want to learn more about application security and how to protect their applications from attacks. If you are not a developer, this video is still worth watching because it provides an overview of the different phases of application security and what developers need to know in order to build secure applications. Phase 1. Grasp Most leaders think security is about activity, when actually it is about integrity. Many organizations approach security just by beginning to take action, chopping down the many tangible milestones that need to be addressed in order to arrive at a secure posture. While many of these activities are indeed important, before appropriate action can be taken, an organization must first understand what it needs to accomplish and why. Far too often, organizations want to jump right into the doing without first performing and planning. As the Cheshire Cat so wisely stated in Alice in Wonderland, if you don't know where you are going, any road will take you there. The purpose of the grasp phase of the action plan is to define exactly where you are going, why that direction is important, and how you will approach pursuing it. During my address at CSX North America, I'll elaborate on this concept, exploring the key facets of this action plan, including define your goal, understand the business context, implement threat model. Phase 2. Assess most leaders think security is about process, when actually it is about dedication. Many organizations stumble into what I refer to as the compliance trap, wherein the organization seeks to outline a prescribed list of controls and then certify how compliant they are with this framework. However, such checklist-oriented security models are inherently flawed because they do not account for the nuances and other characteristics unique to that organization. Thus, even a compliant system will have gaps in its security posture. Instead, organizations should focus not on process-based compliance but rather should focus on dedication. This requires an organization to truly understand the reality of how their system might be attacked, identify exploitable vulnerabilities, and determine how to remedy those flaws. During my address, we will examine key actions to this phase including Break security features Chain vulnerabilities Strategize mitigations Phase 3. Adapt Most leaders think that security is about achieving a clean bill of health when actually it is about education. Organizations commonly have a desire to obtain a record that states their system to be free from security flaws, which they can then use for marketing and sales enablement purposes. However, this thinking assumes security to be static, when in fact security is dynamic. Attackers evolve, attack methods are innovative market conditions change, and technology iterates. All of these evolutions fundamentally change the threat model and attack landscape, requiring an organization to adapt accordingly. To be effective, organizations need to be constantly educating themselves, learning, and evolving. During my address, we explore the core facets to this phase, including reassess system, study attack evolution, update security models, I hope you guys surely like and enjoy our video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.